What's happening, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Mello with Marty's Buick GMC and Chevrolet. And in today's video, we'll be briefly discussing an upcoming subscription based model that many manufacturers are considering as we move into the future. If you're new to the channel or maybe just coming back for more, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for weekly updates on all things GM. Now let's get into it. All right, so there's been quite a lot of talk recently in regards to manufacturers moving towards a subscription-based system for certain features like remote start, navigation, even heated seats. And when I first heard about this, I thought it would never really come to reality, but apparently I was wrong. Sometimes I'm wrong, you know? According to a recent report from Axios, GM expects car buyers to pay an average of $135 a month in coming years for bonus features like navigation, hands-free driving, and other digital services, in addition to their monthly payment. Now, before you start to lose your mind at GM, just know they aren't the only ones by any stretch. And I will have a video going over all the GM stuff later on. But BMW at one point actually tried to charge owners to use Apple CarPlay before they decided against it. And they've openly discussed the idea of charging subscription fees to utilize heated seats. Toyota has started charging $9.99 per month for Remote Connect or $19.99 for Drive Connect. According to my research, Toyota confirmed that if you don't pay for your Remote Connect subscription once the trial expires, you actually won't be able to use the button on your key fob to remotely start your vehicle, which just, yeah, seems crazy. Tesla's basic autopilot shows a monthly cost of $199 per month on their website, and Ford's Blue Cruise is expected to cost you $600 for three years of service, which equates roughly to $16 per month. Now, as the automotive industry moves to an all-electric and vastly more connected future, manufacturers are trying to find new ways to make more money. And with all the successes of subscription-based services in other industries, thanks Netflix and Hulu and HBO Max and everything else, it seems that they also want their piece of the pie. Now, on the GM side of things, I know we've had available features like OnStar that cost a monthly subscription, but that never really bothered people as it was always seen as an optional enhancement to the vehicle that you already own. And by not subscribing, you didn't lose any capabilities that you already paid for or when you purchased or you leased the vehicle. Now, if we head over right here to Chevrolet.com, we can see a few different subscription plans like the Chevrolet Remote Access, which allows you to start, stop, lock, or unlock your vehicle from your smartphone. I actually had that on my old truck. It was kind of nice. I could start my truck. And if I was going on a trip, plane was coming in, I could start my truck and have it warmed up before I got to it as I got off the plane. So that was kind of cool. But it's something that's been around for a while now, and I'm actually okay with that as well as the $15 a month plan if I want 4G LTE Wi-Fi. But I have to be honest, the idea of having to pay subscriptions for my heated seats to work or my key fob to start my vehicle or to enable faster charging is something that I think will happen just sounds insane to me. Autonomous hands-free driving, maybe, but not if I've already paid a hefty price for that option on the window sticker. According to a survey from Cox Automotive, 75% of consumers said they were not willing to pay an annual or monthly subscription fee for most items on their next vehicle, with most consumers who responded saying that safety and comfort features like remote start or lane keep assist or heated seats or heated steering wheel should absolutely be included in the cost of the vehicle and not tacked on later using a subscription model. But that doesn't mean that manufacturers can't just force it upon everyone, especially if they all do it. You can say you won't buy one, but believe me, people will still buy one and we'll just kind of be stuck. Buyers of the 2022 Toyota Tundra, for example, right now will need to pay $32 a month to keep most of its connected services and cloud-based navigation after a one-year trial. And Cadillac Escalade buyers who are looking to utilize that super cool Super Cruise hands-free driving system, that's the future, well, they're going to pay $2,500 up front and then an additional $25 per month after a three-year trial period ends. General Motors expects that by 2030, 30 million of its vehicles will be equipped with some sort of connected technology that will allow them to generate additional revenue. <sighs> Welcome to the future, guys. But let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Let me know if you currently pay for any monthly subscription services in your vehicle now, or if there are any features that you can think of that you'd actually be okay with paying extra for. I know. I know. Who wants to pay anything extra? I Believe me, I'm right there with you. But Maybe it's something. Maybe you're paying for XM. Maybe it's a better satellite uh, navigation system. Whatever it may be, let me know. As always, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you made it this far in the video, if you could help me out in a huge way by just smashing that like button, I would greatly appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my friends over at GMPartsTomorrow.com for all your GM OEM parts needs. And I will catch you all in the very next video. Thanks again for watching and take care.